All right. It's, it's calling, we're calling the meeting to order. Um, it's, let's see. So uh, Livingston Conservation Board, here we are. Um, uh, McRae will not be joining us. So we've got, uh, we've got the five of us. And so far, nobody from the public has called in. So we'll just get started on our agenda. Um, so the, let's see, so our agenda for today is uh, we're hoping to get public comment on the conservation board input to the growth policy. Um, if there's any, if there's any that anybody wants to give. Um, but for us, it's also, we, we've sort of given this time for uh, that initial uh, document that we put together during our working meeting a couple of weeks ago. And we've um, now we can review it, do final edits, and then just try to put a bow on this, which which means uh, the output probably needs to be where we vote on whatever we have generated and and send it along to um, the commission and and concurrently I think to Burton. So that's the that's the goal of the meeting, and hopefully we'll get there. And if if we don't, you know, it's not the end of the world. But let's uh, let's give it a shot. Um, does anybody? Uh, I guess the, the first thing I'd like to pull up, though, before we do that is uh, approval, if possible, of the minutes from the March 11th meeting in the before times. Was that the before times? Yeah. Yeah. That was when we were actually all together. Um, uh, I'll motion to approve the minutes. I, I read through them. Maybe. Yeah, I'll second it. All right, motion has been made and seconded. Um, all, all, all in favor, just raise your hand and say aye. Well, aye. Oh. you, you want to make a correction? Sure, yeah, it is open for discussion. Now it's on oh. the floor. Okay. Um, the, the one that definitely I think needs to be made, and then I have a couple of others I wanted to bring up, but they'll sure. On the last page, working meeting schedule for March 30th at 5 p.m. at Livingston Greens. We changed that to Zoom, so uh, maybe the minutes should reflect that we met through Zoom rather than have a meeting at your. Do we add post Greens. things out onto it, or is that a like document of just what happened that day? I think that's just a document of just well. Yeah, I, I uh, happened that day, right? I think Jonathan's the best one on this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Jonathan, why don't you answer the, the, the question? Um, I was thinking that's just what we said at that time. I don't know. We could, I don't know what the it's, best that is. Yeah, it, right. it, it is. Yeah, it is my understanding that we're that reviewing and, and approving the minutes is not a um, we don't have to. <laughs> Let's see. If we said anything that was factually incorrect, it still needs to be in the minutes because that's what was said. So instead, oh. we're we're just reviewing and approving the minutes for what we said at the time, and that, I, I think that is that is accurate. We we just had to change it afterwards because of all the all the pandemic stuff that put a giant. You know, I wonder if you add. Nope. If if you can like add an, a note in <laughs> that says what actually happened, it I don't know. Maybe we, maybe someone can look that up. <laughs> well, you can say it in the minutes this time if you want to. Yeah. That we met Zoom the last time, and that would cover it. It's just a matter of anybody looking back. We didn't meet at Living Greens. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right, Bill. I think I'll I don't know what the. I don't know what the procedure is, but I think I think you just nailed it. I, I, well, I, this was a working meeting. Now that that brings up the point: Are we making a distinction between a a regular meeting and a working meeting, in terms of what we're carrying out, what we're going through in terms of minutes, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, yes, yes, we do. Official minutes are kept for official board meetings, working meetings. Um, almost universally I've seen that they are, uh, you can just provide the audio and that can be the minutes and you don't, you don't really have to do any 
any real written well, media. In that case, it doesn't make any difference then, probably. I'll put yeah. it in today's minutes that so, Bill so said can, that. You've Perfect. got them. <laughs> well, we can travel. Let's travel on then. I won't, I won't go the other points or minor, minor issues. So, um, well, maybe we can figure that out for the next time. It sure. might be in one of these handbooks. Yeah, we, we can just, yeah, we can ask, we can ask Faith. I mean, it is interesting to, you know, how do we, uh, how do we document that we had to make a mid month schedule change? Okay. That's the question. Then, so, so there's a motion call for the question then. All right. <laughs> or are it's we just, called? Oh, so we second it. I second it. I'm just backing out. <laughs> or what? I'm. I don't know what's happening. Never mind. <laughs> so. Already so the motion, right? Or do I need to do it again? No, the motion's been made, and uh, oh. <laughs> with we can we can uh, we can ask for an. He called the question, so we ask an. If we there's an amendment to the motion, um, and we can just all vote in favor of the motion as made with with the amendment as as Bill <laughs> as Bill articulated. Okay, what you said. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> all right, all in favor. Aye. 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 Okay, <laughs> motion passes. Okay, so the minutes are approved. So then we get to the, the meat of this. Um, uh, so just as, as a call to order, I think, I think what, I'll, what I'll do is uh, during the course of this meeting, if any member of the public uh, calls in, um, I'll, during the next break in conversation, I if it's if if it's okay, I'm going to just go ahead and ask them to provide their comment, um, so that we can do this efficiently. Um, and if and then if they'd like to, of course, listen in, they can just continue. But I want to give that an option right away. Um, the so the draft document. I'm going to share share my screen here so we can all see it. Um, do that. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've I've taken the the Rev A zero 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 A that we created during the last working meeting and I've saved it um, as zero 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 B and I've made no other changes so it's just ready for us to to edit. Um, Bill, you did submit. Uh, thank you, by, by the way, very much for um, submitting a document with some notes on things that we can change potentially or, or review anyway. Um, and so I, I would like to maybe go through those first and then um, and then as we're going through uh we can we can discuss any anything that comes up that uh anyone feels needs to be discussed uh relate rel, rel, related to what we're going to be giving um to the commission does this sound okay okay all right bill since it's your document i'll let you uh i'll let you talk about it so let me share that okay You've got my document also. Um, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to bring pull up. It up. If you I'm bring up the up. first, if you bring up the first page, there's only one minor uh, change that I'm suggesting for that one. And and to expedite things, we might um, establish sort of a, a precedent of how we're going to do this. Because what we may need to do is to say yes or no on each of the changes I'm suggesting. That is vote, um, or I can make the changes, and if you agree with most of them, we can it, we can do it that way too. But let's bring that's it. Okay, let's just go with that. Um, yeah, I, Bill, if it's okay, uh, just as a matter of, of procedure, I I I don't think that we need to get too hung up. Um, we could we could discuss. Uh, and and I could try to incorporate some of them in, and then um, let's let's 
just just to be efficient, let's suspend most of the Roberts rules on 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 feedback and just give give everyone license to sort of discuss each point as it comes up on the floor. Um, does does everybody can can I have? Oh, actually, I need to make a motion to suspend Robert's rules for that. Um, so, so I uh, can I just just for efficiency, can we essentially uh, suspend Robert's rules on the on the feedback, make this more of a working meeting, and then at the end of the meeting, we can um, bring our collective document to a vote. Um, That's fine. If, you, if, if that's okay, and then and then if 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 we do hit any points of contention, uh, then we'll make sure that that's that that's managed uh, more formally. Okay, on the this was an introduction, and my thought here was the why, the who, what, when, and where, uh, which I'm trying to express here by saying who generated this, um, what it was designed to do, uh, and. Um, you may notice that I mentioned in the last sentence, and I want to I want to suggest a change there on the one, two, three, fourth line, where it says in the middle Montana and. I want to put a period after Montana, strike the and, and put a period there. Yep. I've got my pointer on it. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I can't, but I know exactly where you you described it perfectly. Okay. So. Okay, and that's all. That that's the only other change. That's the only change there from the document as you see it. Um, and if if the board agrees that this is basically what we're doing here, I think it's good to have this as an introduction to the document itself, so that whoever is looking at this document, this tells them basically what it is. Um, I do say here and includes mainly comments by the board members generated by the results of the survey and related relative conservation issues. So that covers the dark sky, uh, especially that wasn't something that was part of the survey itself. So we've got an out there with that last statement of saying related relative conservation issues. So that's my explanation with the one change of taking the and out, putting a period in. And um, so this is open to discussion. Yeah. The only thing I see that I don't feel is entirely accurate is that sentence that says it is designed to summarize the survey results. I mean, we analyze the survey results and then I feel like we gave our own opinion so that might just be a little misleading maybe we can adjust that but it's yeah. almost like the last sentence could just be like mixed in with the top there yeah I think we're not I mean I don't think we're summarizing the survey results I think we're giving input on what we would like to see which is is stated clearly at the in the last sentence so i think maybe we just or at least i think so oh you mean it is designed to summarize is that what you're saying yeah i don't i feel like that's a little misleading the whole sentence um right yeah designed to summarize the survey maybe designed to give input on the some survey results or well i think we incorporated we use the survey results as a data point in our comments we didn't summarize them they already summarized the survey results we were just using them as what the public okay is interested in i don't sure. know maybe <laughs> it's been a long day for me too so maybe mm -hmm. i'm not explaining it right mm -hmm. jonathan you should <laughs> Maybe it is designed to provide input of, I don't know. <laughs> I think you could just delete that sentence, truthfully. We didn't really have anything to do with the survey questionnaire, and we didn't summarize it. Okay. So this yeah, document so, was, sorry. Yeah, that, that would be fine. Yeah, uh, I, I, I actually, I also, uh, just as an and to Amy's comment, I think, I well, first of all, 
I mean, already, Bill, this is created, this is wonderful because it, it, this was, I believe that this was absolutely missing from the document. <laughs> we really needed a, a statement of purpose. So this is great. Uh, I, and I also, I maybe, I'll, yeah, I'll echo that that does feel, the second sentence feels factually inaccurate, but we are, and, and maybe I can switch back over. So what I did, um, actually, I can't believe I'm going to ask y'all because I feel so confident in Zoom, but are you, do you see both the Word document and the PDF up or just the PDF right now? PDF. Just the PDF. Oh, that was too bad. I was hoping they had a, <laughs> I was hoping they had a new feature where you could share multiple. Unfortunately, I have to be a little awkward because because this is publicly recorded <laughs> and on offer, I don't really want to show views of my whole desktop and all the apps I have installed and all that stuff for. But you, for the it looks like I, my comment or next thought was we should just stick it into the main document, and it looks like that's what you did. Yep. Okay. So, so what I just did was quick hurriedly while y'all were discussing, I typed this in, um, and uh, Bill, what I was going to suggest, if you can see that now, is that I just creating an introduction section here, maybe, uh, right. or or maybe even a, I might be more me stronger there, maybe purpose. Um, and this document was entered was generated mm -hmm. by the Livingston Conservation Board, and then this is the sentence we were, had some questions about. And I, it does feel probably valid just to take that out because right after this paragraph, we go into here are initial conclusions that we have read from the growth policy survey results that Burton has shared. So I think, you know, our attempt to sort of communicate that we're that we're trying to base our recommendations at least partially, at least for the topics that were covered under the growth policy survey, we are we're trying to base our recommendations on some of those survey results. Is that? That's fine. Just is that fairly clear? Eliminate that sentence, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. okay, all right. We seem to have okay. a consensus on that. Yeah, okay. It's prepared to be presented. And the only other thing was that one change I made. I don't know if you made that or not. Um, yeah, I'm almost there. Okay. All right, that takes care of that one. Um, the others you want to you want to deal with individually and just vote up or down on. And if if the board wants to discuss any of these things, we can. But we can just because the document I think pretty much stands with or without you know these changes. Not all of them, but uh, most of them. I tried to be. First of all, I tried to be consistent in some of these um, statements that I made. And um, otherwise, some qualifying words, we used to call this word smithing. But, um, and like I say, we can just vote up or down on each one. And if you want to discuss them, fine, but we don't have to discuss them um, <laughs> on the document itself. For instance, I, uh, yeah, I, I think everybody's got this in front of them. So, um, and you may yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do, if it's okay, Bill, is just start typing them in. And if anybody thinks that the comment that the that the edit is is something we should we should adjust, just let me know. Just watch okay. the screen as as I type them in. So okay. Because I'm just gonna I'm gonna type them into the document as we go. Okay that we have Will you do I, that yeah i think i think come to read is just is <laughs> no i mean no, after no comments meaning. sorry i spend half my day editing documents so <laughs> there's some initial <laughs> conclusions make... and comments yeah that's fine yeah we're not going to make any grammatical errors so well if this is um, a weird way to um to do this for me is this how you would normally do that, like make technical edits on a document like this as a five person thing. Do we have to do it this way? I mean, <laughs> I realize I probably should have had this like before we started, but I'm just kind of curious. So normally um, this is how the city 
council or city. Oh commission. my god. Okay. <laughs> um, well, a lot of t usually what they would do is they have it in. They have the suggestions in there, and then they vote yes or no. Okay. Or like not vote know for the... no, but they just have a discussion like we're having. Um, and they actually go through a document like this, like this is what they do with the strategic plan, and they actually like go through and do it like that. And that's how they. So that's why it all takes so long. <laughs> yes, I spent hours watching the city commission do that. So yeah, like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay. like backspace and add periods and do yes. all kinds. And so, so the reason that that happens, which is just nauseating i'm sure you know to anybody watching this um is that we we have to do all deliberation and war and words matter right so some of them are just they you know you oh well it's just a you know it's just a period or it's a you know more efficient way of writing it but bottom line is that um it, it, they they do need to be ratified. One thing, actually, just just as an aside, something we can do f as a future process is, um, you know, I we we could have a, a a stage where just one of us takes all the documents that we generate, and between one meeting to the other, they they just try to make it as like concise and and all that is possible um i love doing that <laughs> okay and, for some of it not all of it but <laughs> and i'm sure jonathan as a writer also does a lot of that too but that's like what my job is <laughs> um yeah i i think that could be a good idea um just the heading of where your cursor is right now doesn't make sense um okay. It says we we have come to by reading is what yeah that's not right yeah i mean it would be it's fine to say we've come to by reading the growth policy that that's what i meant it, it's but not correct we not have reading. <laughs> okay we have the read and then just take out from Thanks. yeah this might take a little bit of all of that's it. okay it's yep. okay it's only a two-page document we're all right <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do this I, I thought it was all very well written before just so you know <laughs> i think that your um writing style is um pretty clear so let's see uh no but i like the taking the single out i mean one of the things that i really value doing and i can tell now now that i can tell like we've got some nerd wordsmith nerdsmiths in the in our in our board I also really value uh, eliminating every single superfluous word. I may say a lot of superfluous words, but the uh, the documents I like to output are. That's one of the things I tried to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I can tell that. Uh, that's why I'm like, I really like some of these these strikeouts that you have. So um, including air pollution, reducing waste, reducing. Uh, Okay, so this is all good. New developments. Somebody stop me if you see anything that that looks. I think the only thing uh, that that I'm not in agreement to is, is conservation of energy. I think, and then conservation of waste. I think putting the thing that we're conserving first is actually crucial to catching the eye properly, and that's that's really all I had about that. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um, where is that? <laughs> it's I'm down. Gone. I'm sorry. I'm like really <laughs> jumping ahead, but that was the only comment I really had on everything else. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. I let me bring that up in a second. Um, okay. I'm going cross-eyed due to the lack of sleep here, so I'll just um, let's see. Uh, result. Hey, Bill. Were you meant to say? Let's see. Results also stated. Um, yeah, here, the uh, the first three words in the next sentence, here are yeah. the, instead it should, I read, results also stated some specific areas. Except is that talking about the survey? Because I think that gets back to our original point that we aren't really commenting on the survey, unless you mean the results of our discussion. 
what if we just got rid of here are the and just say specific areas the conservation board would like to provide input? Oh, I like I like that one. Bill, does that sound all right? You're changing it now. So yeah, so it just be I'll specific. Just it's like, yeah, it's, that's fine. Yeah. Specific yeah. areas at the conservation board would like to provide. Include. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm not uh, anchored to any of these changes. Uh, I thought they made it read a little more smoothly and sure. consistently, but uh, that's that's the board's decision, not mine. I just, in my opinion on some of these things. No, that's fine. That's good. As much as I hate words, I think it's important to say because I want I want this to be very clear that we these are the specific inputs like the input list is starting now <laughs> pay attention um okay jonathan what's up um so the second bullet point on the thing above that you it just says survey takers responded said so it should take out responded or said it doesn't matter to me which one uh, Oh, actually, so new development should help pay for survey taker survey. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Why would I even question something coming from Jonathan? Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm doing a group project in college. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> Except that I used, we used to get really mad at each other. So hopefully we don't fall <laughs> into that. This is what I do every day of my editors all day long. They're just picking <laughs> my words apart. Yep. He's, uh, do it on a group meeting call. <laughs> a Google Doc on the phone usually. Yeah, that's that's a little better. I'm not used can, to this version. I can show you that I can show you uh, all the hilarious jokes of, of you know engineering jokes on design by committee that uh, okay here we go. So um, uh, let's see. So conservation promotion through utility, uh, state, uh, uh, and I, th I think Bill, you meant to, did you say like, just to add education as one of the, the enumerated items on this list? I think that's supposed to go in a sentence below. Oh yeah. Volunteer programs. Uh, through education. Could the could you make it a little bigger? Like zoom in on the document a little more. Thank you. That helps. <laughs> you bet. Of course, no problem at all. Now we. Well, I can only see. Is your guys is getting cut off? Maybe it's my thing. Yeah. No. It is. It, it's. Oh, you there. Can't that's, see it that's because better. I Thank you. I didn't change. I'm I'm having to do. This is. You're, um, you're, you can't see what I'm doing, but I have to have this window next to the PDF window of Bill's edits so that I can see oh, him okay. typing him. Fine. And I don't, I don't have multiple screens up right now. So unfortunately that's what I got to do. So, okay. So we've got uh, uh, conservation promotion through utility. Eight. Uh, state, state, and federal partnerships. The city should pursue voluntary programs. Jen, you just you were thinking through like voluntary educational programs. Well, the city should pursue voluntary programs through through education. I'm and I'm thinking by educating people. I, that, I hate to contradict you, but I, I think that puts a limit to what kind of programs because there's also. Well, there's also like rebate programs and, yeah, and that's what kind of programs. There's a lot more programs that they can really do besides just education. Well, I like Maybe. I like that though. Let's just let's just yeah. add it in here, right? That's what I was Is that all right, Bill? So we can do Yeah. yeah. What about um, programs and education? Yeah, programs. Um what what was that, Danielle? Go ahead. And and education. Yeah. Instead of through education. I think no. I think Michael, what you're doing there looks. It's just adding the education component onto it. So, yeah. adding it as a bullet, I think, is valuable because that makes it 
um, its own thing, but could also be paired with any of that. Yeah. I yeah, this is good. Are, are there? The and the, the, the Zoom, so sorry. Just, just for, I like this, we're actually talking about content for a second instead of weird <laughs> grammar edits. Um, uh, Bill, do you have any, uh, just, just for my edification, do you have any like examples of like an education program that you think would, would be, you know, a good thing for, for this? I, because I'm just trying to understand maybe if there's a, uh, you know, one of the things with this growth policy is to set up, you know, some, um, I think one of the chief reasons that you have a growth policy is to articulate some of our goals. And I'd be, I'd like to get more specific on an education program or two. Um, if, if that's, well, if that's something. That there are um, a lot of programs out there as far as conservation is concerned, mm -hmm. educational programs, um, Uh, I'm having a hard time coming up with something really specific. Well, I mean, okay, so so one thing that comes to my mind, I'll, I'll answer sort of what I was thinking of when I think of education is a, it would be very nice for the city to, and they can work with us and the conservation board to provide education on how recycling works. Yeah, right. That's okay. good. That, that's something right? we're all interested in. and. I'd say, I guess we don't mention it there. Um, um, no, that, but you know, I, I think. Um, uh, I, um, I do mention later on, I think something about uh, recycling it, but not in an educational sense, so. Sure. But Michael, sure. you're adding this bullet under where it says the city sh should pursue voluntary programs that encourage res residents yeah. to serve water power and other resources. So I feel like if you say educational programs, it goes with those things. No, well. How about we just I, do I that? meant it was fine where it's at. It's already saying that we mean educational programs of conservation, just by nature of yeah. where it was at before. <laughs> sure. As the black okay. bullet. So so I'm, I'm okay with that. So I, let, let's just leave, I tell you what, we'll leave it there. Yeah. But I mean, now, now we don't even need to change the words. I actually just thought it was kind of cool for all of us to know what we mean when we say this. And so I, now, like, I feel like I understand what we're trying to accomplish with this. So I'm, I'm good with it. I think it's good. Plus okay, we don't want to be like the, too specific. Okay. This is one of the, uh, one of the areas where I was trying to get a little consistency because we say conservation um, of energy. Oh, conservation of our dark sky up above. I see what you're saying. Well, conservation of energy. Energy conservation maybe is better than conservation of energy. What do you it's think? Ener like energy, we could do you know. energy conservation. It's like the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> well, in to go up to the dark skies bullet is that really no, how kidding. it's written like do you say conservation of our dark skies yeah this i agree this is an outlier it sounds <laughs> it sounds kind of we i mean it like works i know what you're talking about but it also sounds like a weird use of words all right let's you want to let's, let's do it yeah <laughs> okay no okay <laughs> It's not capitalized though, right? Or, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. That's like a title. Um, Dark sky. Oh. Guys, of conservation shouldn't be cap capitalized. Conservation should not be, definitely. Dark, Dark skies. but skies is, that's like a, a it, pronoun? It, it probably doesn't need to be. Oh, if you're not starting a bulletin with it, I would agree. I mean, <laughs> if you're not starting right after the bulletin with conservation, then it doesn't really need to I still capitalize. That sounds weird, but I'll I'll change it. Just make it make a an affirmative suggestion of something that you want it to be, and I'll I'll I am not attached to anything. Yeah, I'm looking up like dark some different sky. It should here. be 
if we're going to put conservation after it, it needs to just be dark sky. Yes. But that also sounds yeah. weird. It sounds a little better, but it also sounds weird. Oh, well, just, you know. just leave it. I'm, I'll see if I find up with something better. <laughs> All right. Um, we could also, you know what? Uh, now, dang it, I can't believe I'm going to weigh in on this. But here we go. I think we could do, we could also, just to make, it's to actually make it, consistent with the rest we could say um uh just just make it dark sky conservation and then and then just turn this into another bullet which no, i think we're... actually makes it more re readable so here's here's the suggestion what we're really talking about though is like dark sky legislation or regular or not regulation science um, is what they use in everything else What'd you, what'd you just say? Compliance is what they seem to use. Dark sky friendly, dark sky compliance. I mean, basically Nine we're asking. Dark sky conservation. Or maybe. <laughs> dark sky conservation, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, That's just leave it. <laughs> you know what it means. Sweet. <laughs> whatever, whatever y'all want to do. I'm just, I'm just, uh, yeah. So let's, okay. I, so I, unless I hear any, uh, any additional uh, uh, thoughts? I'm going to continue on here and uh, in incorporate all of Bill's good input. Okay, so how about yeah, Bill? If it's okay, can we just stick to just? I I see what you're trying to do there, but but can we just stick to energy conservation and waste conservation? Okay, that's fine. I was just trying to make it consistent that, and if you don't yeah. feel that that makes any difference, uh, that's fine. There's no sense changing it. I mean, I, I'm justifying the changes to a certain extent. And if you don't, you don't go along with it, that's fine. As I'm saying, I'm not uh, anchored to any of these changes. They just seem to me to make uh, a little more sense logically. And you are adopting some of them, so that's fine. Now, the one on recycling. Um, yeah. Growth policy should include increased recycling and ways to promote more recycling. Yep. I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, actually, I like that you were paying attention to that because I want to actually say more. I think um, I think we could articulate this even, you know, or enumerate this a little better and say, um, <laughs> I have it. this is, uh, Future, future board member, I'm sure. Um, uh, so, uh, increased recycling acceptance, um, ways to promote. <clears throat> let's see, ways to promote more recycling. Uh, I, I was just wanted to do uh, more use, but more adoption. Um, uh, how? <laughs> So I, I wanted to enumerate, I'm sorry, again, am I tired, but uh, I wanted to increase the, the recycle, the re materials accepted, I think is important. Do, doing what we can to promote a greater percentage of the waste in our community being recycled of the materials that we already accept. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you could, you could. Yeah, how do we, you, you, one of the things you're trying to say is you just need more people to do it. So yeah. Do yeah. Do that in <laughs> yeah. <a better> way? <laughs> well, and, and the fact that they don't tell anyone anything about recycling, frustrating. Well, yep. Yeah. It's like kind of on the website, but it up. not yeah. easily found. So we need education on recycling. We need more people to do it. We want yeah. more waste to be diverted through recycling as opposed to the landfill. And, and put that all in this one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> one run on sentence. How's this? Is just a happy medium. Just promote more recycling. I know it doesn't yeah, enumerate I think everything. That works. But... And I, 
I think for this document too, like we're trying to be pretty high level. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so that we can make our umbrella really big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, time check it's 543. So I'm going to start pushing a little bit faster through these. Um, but that doesn't mean don't provide input it just means there are not that little... many in the next page. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to be getting a little bit more. Um, okay. So now we're at uh, and, native and landscape. Native landscape. Yeah, so you said native landscape, natural environment, and waterway conservation. Um, yeah. Okay. And then the growth policy should promote growth and harmony with the current natural environment. Consider topics, um, considering topics uh, such as, sure impact to river and watershed rivers and watersheds that's good i like that low impact development practices okay so we're good there um growth policy should include a groundwater management so we're there uh city should develop um, instead of grow yeah that's fine Mm -hmm. That that feels like a bigger word for that. Actually, it's I mean meaning it it, it encompasses more. That's good. Um, and then that sentence of each project evaluates monumental impact of each project. Well, I like yeah. That's let's see. Develop infrastructure. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now, basically, the rest of it. But you can go down through it if you want to. I don't have any changes until we get down to the very last sentence. Okay. I think um, let's just, uh, that's good. Well, let's just go down the last sentence. I'll just go the assumption. Um, yeah, that that was the garbage thing at the end of the last working meeting that I said <laughs> what needed needed adjustment as I was typing it. I was like, this is just so. Um, I just struck uh, out the the assumption is rather than here is. Yeah, the assumption is, and not simply. You can just go to emitting. Yeah, you don't need simply either. That's yeah. that's what I struck. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Very good. We're on the same wavelength on that one. Yeah, so that's all I had. Um, except I might ask the question to the rest of the board. Um, I brought this over, and uh, copies were made for you, but I know some of you probably didn't have much of an opportunity to look at it before this meeting today. Uh, is the way I did this a precedent for others if they want to do something like this in the future when we're dealing with a document like this? Or is there some other procedure that would be more expeditious for you? I'm wondering if we can make edits like, I think in a Word or Google Doc or something, a bunch of people can make edits. And it, it would, would be track, like track changes. Is that something? Oh, how do? wonderful would that be? That constitutes deliberation. We okay, I wasn't it. sure if. Yeah, it. are you kidding? Yeah, this is this is admittedly very clunky, but I think, uh, but unfortunately, the w if everyone jumps into a Google Doc and starts providing edits and comments and stuff like that, the challenge is that 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 back and forth is deliberation and without the public being able to be there and in real time provide input, um, it, it runs afoul of, of uh, the sunshine laws and all that stuff. So we can't explicitly do that. Um, and so this clunky process where we have a document that we work on in a working meeting and then we we can all provide our input, but we can only send it out as its own separate input and have no comment even. Like you can't, you can't even email back and say, 
oh, I like what you did there. Right. <laughs> like you, you, it, it has to be, it has to be, you know, thank you for your input. You know, <laughs> it has to be very, very formal. And then once we get to these meetings, we review it. Um, so, so Bill, my, my, for what it's worth, my input on that, on your question is I, I really value what you did. I think it's, it's very helpful because it seems like the only way we can do it. Yeah. So generally what um, happens with the city is um, Michael Cardos, the city manager, just makes the changes and puts them in suggested mode. And then they, and then the commission says yes or no. So I think you probably could have one yeah. person to do it and then have every like what bill did basically um and but in but they just do it in word or whatever well i i that's a good suggestion jonathan i'll just do that from now on when we're when we're editing things i'll put it in the track changes in word and and then that way we could just accept everything at once that, that sounds super easy but if we were each going to make our own edits it each has to be in a separate document, whether right. that's and, through tech changes or um, the way Bill did it. And so either way is going to be kind of the same process to go through everybody's. It is, it is. But like, yeah, I think, you know, and, and everybody brings what they want. Uh, I think Bill, you know, you, you being comfortable with just printing this out and writing down your edits, that's, that's the way you should do it. We'll do yeah. that. Right. Um, it, um, I do a lot of, I have like four people edit my reports because they're public reports as well. And we just do like, we just do comments on things that we think should, should change instead of writing over stuff and deleting it. I mean, you don't ever technically delete it. It's just scrap. It's like striked out, but the comments make it so that you can read the original document and then see what the change is on the right instead of trying to figure out what the change, the track changes and okay, you try and keep it like easier to follow for everybody. So. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because we do, because we're using Google Drive, we do actually have a, um, a tool up our tool in our toolbox here. <laughs> It's not Google Sheets, but Google Word or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, Google Docs. But but Google Docs in in all all um, all documents in Google Drive are are version controlled. So what that means is, and we are going to need to move quickly here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but what that means is if I come over here and hit save on what we've done so far, which I will, then and I will show you this in just a second. Refresh. Okay. So let me just very quickly stop share. Share. And I can just show you that one and then we will need to move on. Okay, so I pulled it up on the web interface and I can just right click on it and I hit versions and you can see this is the current version. This is the one that I literally just saved. Here's the one that we started at the beginning of the meeting. This one that I popped in there a while back. Um, so as we hit save on things, we get a snapshot. Um, so that's another, another little tool in our toolbox and you can see who did it. Um, okay. We're, we're near the end. So, so actually now we're at the meat of sort of the end. Is there anything substantial anybody wants to add to this? I wanted to add um, at the beginning in the introduction. Um, so I've been doing a lot of research on just like how things are changing and kind of do, um, for some freelance writing that I'm doing. And it seems like things are changing very rapidly. And I just wanted to um, see if there's like a way we could just kind of put that in there that um, 
the the conservation board recognize like i don't know i just wanted to like somehow say that there's a lot of uncertainty right now and um just i don't know is and if you think that's necessary i just think that like with what they've done so far um pretty much everything that was done pre-pandemic um is outdated and i just kind of wondered if that was worth saying somehow. In the, you mean like, in the what practice. Burton did before the pandemic as far as the growth policy is outdated now? Yeah, and just like the, the entire like, yeah, and just like that, like, hey, like the, 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 everything's evolving very quickly and like probably this is going to be outdated in three months potentially. So I just didn't know if anyone, if that was worth saying. If anyone, if people say, think it's not, then that's fine. I just wanted to bring up that idea. Um. May I ask a question here, Michael? Yes, sir. On volume, is there a way of turning up volume on some of these uh, individually, or is it maximum the way it is now? Oh, you I'm mean just having Zoom? a little problem hearing some of some of the discussion. Oh, um, oh, Bill, yeah. Uh, 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 sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, are you are you called in, or are you using your computer? I'm using the computer. Okay. Um, do you, let's see, and you're a Windows machine, right? Yeah. Okay. There is there a volume? Uh, uh, I've got a volume on the desk and it's all the way up to the top now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe um, you think there's no way of doing it. You know, I, uh, my hearing is not what it once was. So I, understand that but although otherwise let's get on with it i'm sorry jonathan I'm, i interrupted you there maybe you didn't finish maybe you didn't have a chance to finish what you were saying but i was having trouble hearing it so that i couldn't really you know tie it in bill do you have speakers or are you just using your computer like do, are your speakers not attached uh i have Two speakers, yeah. They might have their own volume on them, like a knob. Well, they do, and it's all the way up. Oh, but have you also turned up the volume on your computer? Um, like the lower right-hand corner will have a volume there. What does it look like? It's, um, uh, it's on, on the desktop, like in, you know, in, in software. Um, well, it's usually uh, on Windows. It, it looks like a little speaker icon. I don't have. No, I don't. No, I don't have that uh, at the bottom now. Um. Let's see. Where else would it be? <laughs> um. I do have it turned up all the way, and it is a little better now. I don't know what happened, but maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe we all started talking louder. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah, I think effort. maybe that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm leaning closer to my computer. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, let's make sure that we're articulating too. So, um, so maybe if it's okay, Bill, uh, uh, try you know try to hang on and let us know if anything needs to be, be repeated. It's very important, of course, that you understand uh, the the point uh, that's on the table. So, thanks for bringing that up. That's great. Um, okay, Jonathan, I guess I, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, I was finished. Well, Jonathan, a point of order. Can I? Can, can we? Can we get a motion uh, to to extend the meeting just about ten minutes, if that's okay? Um, I move that we extend the meeting to six ten. Okay. Motion second. All right. Motion. Motion second. And any any nays? We'll go with that. Are there any nays? All right. Motion passes. Okay. So continue, uh, Jonathan. You. I. I let, let's just put that up for discussion. What Jonathan said, I, I, um, the, the the point that the landscape is shifting, um, I think is is a difficult one because our purview and bylaws and all that stuff haven't changed. So, I'd be curious if if there's something that we think is under sort of the conservation board uh, area of expertise that 
is going to be pretty sp is going to be specifically impacted by the dramatic changes that are coming from the from the pandemic yeah that's kind of my take is like i think we still all want all of this stuff it's just like the timeline might be different i don't know i mean there's always something changing so i don't know if men mentioning it, it I'm not sure I agree, Jonathan, sorry. Well, the uncertainty of the whole thing, of course, is part of it. Um, and, and, and nobody's crystal ball seems to be any better than anybody else's in terms of what we know that's going to happen. So until it happens, we can't really react to it. Um, and, and certainly, for instance, this meeting, we were forced into a Zoom meeting. Now, we sure. could have all of our meetings Zoom if we wanted to from now on, but we probably would rather have it down, uh, you know, face to face if we have a choice. Of course, if we don't have a choice, it doesn't make any difference. We're going to have to go with the Zoom. That's just one little example of certainly Zoom. <laughs> I wish you had some stock in it uh, <laughs> is, is really a, a powerful tool and maybe it will work all right, but I think people's preference would be to get back to a face-to-face. -face. Am I wrong on that or? No. I don't think you're wrong on that. So it sounds like we're kind of leaning away from it. I guess, Jonathan, do you have more specific language that you were uh, thinking of? I, let's just not do it. I was just thinking like with like um, the changes in, uh, natural resource prices that changes oh okay yeah well i i mean and also the um amount of like like housing has changed very significantly very quickly um yes it is. Lot, like there's a lot of people buying houses housing prices have increased very drastically in the past month yeah. or two and so um i just feel like there's always going to be something changing I mean, that's just the and this is kind of like our umbrella of what we want to talk about and look at and yeah, well, the, I was the, saying that the survey, I think, um, oh, the survey. is pretty well worthless now. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Here's> your point. <laughs> that, that the results of the survey may change. Um, uh, that, you know what? Um, I'll, Let's not do it. I, it's fine. No, no, no Jonathan, I'll, I'll, I'll bite on that. Um, uh, actually, I, 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 if, if it's okay with everyone, I, I would like to... Um, to, to take a quick stab at that. I, I think it is actually important. Um, so maybe like as of uh, the time of this uh, uh, document, um, the conservation board, let's see, as of the time of this document. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry, hold on. During, during the pandemic of uh, 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 2020, uh, the Conservation Board um, acknowledges that uh, some of the um, priorities of the uh, community. community may have changed. Yeah, that's a good statement. Um, uh, from the uh, uh, Original. Result, yeah, results presented uh, uh, so far. Yeah, so, something like that. Does, does that does that sort of capture? Because I, I I think you're right. I think you yes. know, I'm, right? Yeah, I hadn't um, thought through some of that. Yeah, I didn't think about the survey. Good, good work, John. <laughs> I did a bad job explaining it, and then I would just capitalize conservation board. That's the only thing I would do. <laughs> 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 I like that. I agree. <laughs> um, okay, good. So, so that that's great input. I I actually wanted to bring something up that that had that I had thought about too. That that somebody in the community had had brought up to me was, uh, does anybody on the board feel like the it is within our purview to talk about food security. I don't know 
know about food security. Yeah, I mean, or or conservation of green spaces, that kind of or, thing. Or oh, like land, like like securing land trusts for farmers within the community that so that there's food within the community sort something like that maybe that's too specific but i i don't know i mean all i know is that that it's not really something that that falls under the per you know the garden spaces in our community suddenly seem more valuable to a lot of people um because of this survey and the way that the structure of our our boards and commissions are in the city right now nobody is really going to be looking at that at, at food production in an urban setting as as an area that is that is even regarded either either in a positive way or a negative way um it's just simply not on the table uh and so I, I do feel like it's a little bit of a stretch. It's certainly not mentioned anywhere in our bylaws. Um, and, and I was just wondering if there was a conservation basis. One, if anybody had any interest in putting anything about that. And then two, if, if we felt like there was a conservation basis for doing that, because I don't really want to put, even if I, from my discussions with committee, with, you know, community members, even if I believe that that's something that needs to be addressed at the city. I don't want to put it in here if we feel like that's just too far, too wide and far from our, our, our purview. I think um, that seems like a, something we could definitely put in as growth policy input. I mean, it seems relevant as relevant as some of the other things that we weighed in on, including water conservation and um, native landscaping, things like that. I mean, I think that I think that would be fine because we're talking mm -hmm. about city infrastructure and green spaces. So I think that would be a fine play thing. Yeah, kind of, I can, oh, sorry. That's all. <laughs> One classical definition of the word conservation is that it's the wise use of our natural resources for the greatest number of people for the longest period of time. However, people are really a natural resource of a kind. And so in that regard, um, what, what's happening to the people is within our purview, I believe. But again, we don't know exactly where we're going with that, uh, either in reality or theoretically. Um, but it is something to think about because people are resources too. Natural resources, let's put it that way. Yeah, I can see the, um, from an ag point of view, which doesn't always go into community planning, but since we're in Montana, um, there's certain like practices you can take in an agricultural setting that promotes conservation as far as like the more traditional sense, but also would provide f food. Like if you look at a CSA production, it's not a monoculture, they're using less chemicals, it's promoting pollinators, but it's also, you know, promoting food growth in a community setting and not in a commercial structured setting. So I think it definitely has ties to conservation. It's a little more out there, but this is also kind of our big document to be set big goals, I guess. <laughs> I just, I don't really know, like, I feel like if we put it in here, it should be really high level and more vague because we haven't had a chance to develop what we mean by it. Or really discuss it. And we haven't, yeah. really just, we don't really have it on the agenda. Like yeah. maybe it's just something that we could, I mean, it's, this Talk is a pretty more. big umbrella, I think. And I feel like water conservation, land conservation, energy conservation, landscape. I mean, we have a really big umbrella that we could still put agricultural conservation under. But it's something that we haven't discussed at all. Yeah, it isn't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Do 
kiddo. Experience. Right, I've got baby chicks everywhere, and <laughs> so. well, our plate's pretty full now too. Yeah, I guess I I kind of agree with that. It's like maybe something we should put on the list to talk about. And you know, maybe everything the timeline of everything has been shaken up. So maybe we'll have a chance to make additional comments to the growth policy before it ever gets anywhere because like Jonathan said maybe the goals of what we do have changed and we don't know what that is right now so we might have additional opportunities but I think what Danielle said is valid is that yeah we're down to what we're over a minute <laughs> yeah well um, it's so, so maybe it's, it's not the time to do that but yeah, it's certainly so, uh, an interesting idea I like the thought and I don't this document doesn't just limit us to what we want to do this is just saying what we plan on doing which is always changing anyways right this is just yep. like giving it's not even what we're planning on doing it's just like what we want the city to um think, think about yeah which is uh yeah so let's let, let's let's sort of rein this in then I think um well, one, we are one minute away. Uh, if anybody, if y'all would humor me with another five minutes, I would, I, I think we could wrap up because we'll just, we'll just do that if we can. Can I get a motion for I motion 15? For, to extend the meeting to 615. Okay. Second it. All right. <laughs> All right, and any nays? I hear no nays, motion passes. We're at 615, I swear we'll get there. Um, Let's, uh, how about we do this? I, I, think, I think you're right, Danielle. We, you know, we've talked a lot about native landscape, natural environment, that sort of thing. Um, and, and I think the big one is this, you know, uh, considering topics such as, uh, we, could, we could add something in here if we wanted to. Um, I actually, Amy, something you just came up with, which is, um, you know, impacts the pollinators and stuff like that. I mean, those are really important topics. So, yeah, but that's, always, that's we, really well, included in a lot of what we, I mean, not directly, yeah, but it, that's it is. what I meant by native landscapes when I added so, it in. So let's, so let's, let's say that's under that umbrella. And, and if it's okay, I just, let, let's, let's, uh, let's leave it at that. Um, so I, I don't have any other months into this. Yeah, yeah, I know I did, but I, I feel, I feel like we talked through it. I, I just, I, I, it feels, it feels like we are where we should be with this. So no, I said I like that you brought it up, and it's definitely something to talk about in future meetings. But yeah, this, yeah, that was my point. So, <laughs> so does anybody have anything else? Because I'd like to, to, to actually pass a motion to send this to uh to the uh to the commission and uh and, and specifically to if, if it's okay just let me you know, draft a letter to the commission and include this as an attachment and then do the same with burton um we don't have to i won't put anything meaningful in the letter i'll just explain what it is but i i'd like to just have full authority to get this off our plate if that's okay i move that we send this uh, input item or document to the city commission and to Burton Planning Services, and Michael does it. I second it. <laughs> I third it. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost. Well, I need one more vote. <laughs> That's right. We only need one more vote. Aye. <laughs> All right. I heard an aye, and I vote aye. It passes. Aye. Okay. It passes uh, unanimously. Oh no, I guess first and second. Can I hear an aye from Jonathan? Do you aye. vote yes? And Danielle, were you the second? No. I did. I second. Oh, Bill, Bill was the second. Bill said yes. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Got to be specific. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, uh, I will do that. This is, we're done. We, hey guys, we just, we just finished something. One more statement, um, <laughs> Michael. In, in yes, regard sir. to discussing any of this with anybody else, I think it's to our benefit not to do that. Oh, uh, 
it, if someone asks sense. us for an explanation, for instance, of some of this, I think we might want to talk to the group about it. Oh, we, okay. Does that? Oh, mean, I not? no, I, I think I think what we do is we refer them. In fact, that that's a good point, Bill. If anybody has any questions about where this came from, they can refer to all of our public deliberations. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. That's that's the public record of where this came from. Right. No, I'm just, yeah. I hadn't uh, thought about any of that. Um, and then uh, the, the only other thing I wanted to, to really quickly, because it's on the agenda so we can talk about it. When are we meeting next and what are we talking about? I have the, the list here. We don't have to edit our document. I just want to know what the next meeting is. So I thought uh, it was I, meeting time. Yeah, we do have a regular meeting time, um, and that is on. Uh, in two weeks, I think. Yep, it's in two weeks on the 13th. So we'll do that. Um, I've got it from five to seven. It'll be probably over Zoom. Um, just for the for everybody to know, we will always have a Zoom meeting. You will always be able to call in remotely. So there will never be a time where you feel like, especially during this pandemic for the next year, that you feel like you have to meet us in person. So if there is an in-person meeting, you should always feel fully comfortable in not at continue, you know, doing social distancing until this whole thing is completely over. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanna make that very clear. Uh, safety is absolutely paramount, um, which means that I may not like to show up at the <laughs> city county, but, um, but the but I I'm not sure once we're out of a crisis whether we we will need to have a physical location at some point um, that is that is made available to the public so that you don't so that participating in government uh, isn't dependent upon somebody having a computer and an internet access and all that stuff. So I feel um, like but right, probably not in two weeks though. In my probably not. Is our next meeting in two weeks? Yeah, so so, so what's our agenda? So what I, have, what I have on the list is a, which is not right, is, well, we need to review the dark sky ordinance research because that's our next sort of topic. Right, Amy. Um, Amy. Yeah, yeah, and then- We will, Amy. <laughs> And I'd also like to be involved in that if I can. We just don't need, you know, we can't just, we just can't have four involved. And then um, vote on sending the dark sky ordinance recommendations to the commission. So because the, the next meeting can be a working meeting if we want, um, but I do like to, to sort of align the votes to our regularly scheduled meetings and keep the working meetings, you know, during our other time. So, I guess what I'm suggesting is that um, if people are really fired up, we can have another working meeting before then. I don't suggest it. I would, I would like to use the next meeting as a dark sky ordinance uh, uh, recommendation discussion. Um, and then um, we may need to go to the June 10th meeting before we vote on sending those ordinance recommendations. I think that's probably more reasonable. Um, I don't know what Danielle's been able to do, but I have not been able to do much. Uh, not much, to be honest. Yeah, so um, I think it would probably be more of a working, I don't know about I don't know, whatever. I don't think we're going to be able to vote on anything regarding yeah, yeah. Guys in two weeks. We don't have anything yeah, that's, written. Yeah, that's my understanding as well. So let's just, uh, Jonathan or Bill, do you have anything that you need on the agenda for voting on for for the next meeting? No. Besides, besides the usual suspects, I'm always going to have an agenda item is to vote in a, a another meeting plan and then we're always going to have the agenda item is to vote it is to vote in the meeting minutes from the last time so well, those are all those are standing agenda items can we just make it a working meeting for the next one um just that way we don't have to worry about all the rules and everything we can just discuss it and sure i'll sure yeah, 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 i get a yeah, yeah, we'll just yeah, do a yeah, motion yeah. that the next one is a working meeting is that all right? 
<laughs> that's I'm a great that motion just now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll second it. All right, I vote aye. I think everyone votes aye. aye. Is that true? Aye. I got an aye, I got an aye, I got an aye. I see eyes. Okay, aye. good. Motion passes. It'll be a working meeting just yeah, for you, Jonathan. <laughs> no, I... All right. That just can... means I don't have to do minutes, so that's good. <laughs> can I, can I, I get totally a... got that. <laughs> can I get a... Uh, the, I, I think we're done and yeah. we're past time, so can I... Uh, is, does anybody... Would anybody like to make a motion to adjourn this? I motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. <laughs> All right, there's a second. Uh, <laughs> Aye. 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 Meeting Aye. is adjourned. Thank you guys so much. I will stop the recording. Thanks, Michael, for sitting.